You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry, Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my review for Corsage. <laughs> Now, before we get into this review, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. Corsage was presented as part of the Women and Film Program Selections at the 2022 Denver Film Festival. Corsage is a 2022 historical fiction drama directed by Marie Kreitzer, starring Vicky Kreitz. The film follows the film follows Empress Elizabeth of Austria when she is faced with the future of strict ceremonies and duties. Empress rebels against her public image to take her life into her own hands. Pretty much, I saw the promotional image of Vicky Kripes flipping off the camera in this elegant looking frock, and I was instantly intrigued. I could not wait to experience what looked like an exciting film just from that single image. In addition, this is Austria's official submission for the 2022 Oscars, so I was even more intrigued when I saw this come up on the Women in Film selection for the Denver Film Festival. This turned out to be a really daring and unique historical drama that I thoroughly admired and enjoyed. So let's go ahead and kick things off with the positives. Anyway, my biggest positive is Vicky Kripes in the lead role as our empress here. She is a pure delight. Such a great multifaceted performance from Vicky. She gets to be big and expressive and over the top, really sassy and fun. But it's the in-between moments where she truly shines, where there's so much kind of sorrow, contemplativeness behind her eyes as she's just standing there, whether it's posing for a picture, whether it's being a part of some frivolous ceremony. Crepes does so much just in the eyes that expresses everything you need to know about Empress Elizabeth. Really, I would say our whole cast is actually quite fantastic. From top to bottom, there wasn't really a poor performance here that took you out of what was happening. Thankfully, they were given a fantastic script to work with. This is a sharp screenplay that takes liberties, obviously, with the historical figure herself. Gives us quite the saucy ending that I'm sure might be controversial amongst historic purists. It does so much to set itself apart from the stuffy historical period pieces we've come to know. We see those period costumes and we come to expect at least a certain type of film. And instead, this one has an air of melancholy to it that works very well. It accomplishes everybody's favorite phrase by subverting expectation when it comes to its own genre. And I think it works really well for it. A lot more honest. It's a lot more biting. It doesn't present this over glamorized look at being an impress, but also shines light on a very flawed protagonist. She is self destructive. She is also quite mean and crude in her own right, but you also empathize with her and what she's living through and her predicament and situation. All makes for a really interesting character study and one that kept me fully engaged throughout. It's also gorgeous. As you hope with period pieces, the costuming is amazing. Even when it's not the big gowns and the nice suits, the costumes just look good. <laughs> the corset plays a big part in how our empress sees herself and how the outside world perceives her as well as she ages. And it's just such an interesting look at the specific piece of fashion and how it translates so much societal pressure and expectation on women specifically of the time. 
but the hair is fantastic. The sets are beautiful. And the cinematography actually is quite stunning. And the music, the blend of sung music and the score worked really well. It set the tone and mood for the film you were watching and easily transported me and the audience into the film itself as I watched. So then, what doesn't work so well when it comes to corsage? I think particularly the tail end of the second act starts to drag just a bit long. Our character starts to go on like these little mini adventures to all these other random places. And some of them have a meaning there, just not quite prominent enough. And it doesn't play as heavily into our character's development as would need be for the overall story itself. Not to mention we start to get like really awkward, slightly frivolous scenes as we move throughout. Some amusing, others do feel a lot like filler that pad out the runtime to, I would say maybe about 10 minutes too long for the story it's telling. Other than running just a bit too long and a little too slow through that second act, I think Corsage is a really fantastic historical fiction. Vicky Crapes gives a stellar performance that will keep you on the edge of your seat throughout the entire runtime. And if you're a fan of period pieces, this one gives a new little bit of edge to the subgenre. So that is my review for Corsage. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos. Also join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Corsage or have you already seen it? Let me know your thoughts either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.